Hey everybody, I just got done doing a little over 13, almost 14 miles on the Ozark Island Trail. Uh, and uh, it's time for me to set up camp. And it's the perfect time too, because I'm going to be trying out this River Country Products tent. This is their uh, Trekker 2V. It's their newest offering. Uh, I saw online that they were looking for people to test them, to give them a try, and uh, I was interested, so I contacted them. They did send this to me for free for testing, just so you know up front. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited to try this out. I, I needed to knock out another section of the Highland Trail anyway, the uh, Ozark Highland Trail. So uh, perfect opportunity, knock a couple of sections out, come out here and uh, try a new tent. So, uh, anyway, uh, I got this in the mail. I removed the uh, packaging from the post office and threw it in my pack, and two days later, I'm out here. So, this is new for me and new for you, too. Oh, so let's see. Uh, it's the Trekker Tent 2V Instructions and Care. Uh, trekking poles are not included good because I have mine and uh, It just so happened that the ones I've got are river country products uh, Tent setup level piece of ground door facing desired direction state down the four corners Okay It tells you how to fold it up uh, Gives you a little brochure on all of their guide or all their gear that they sell. So, looks pretty straightforward. The uh, Trekker 2V is a two piece tent. You've got your actual tent body itself, and then you've got your uh, rain fly. And they say that this rain fly can be used for a hammock. Uh, I don't know that for sure, but that's what they're saying. I haven't tested that, obviously. Uh, this is my first time messing with it at all. So, Comes folded up pretty small. Uh, the weight on this, their advertised weight was three pounds. Uh, on my kitchen scale, it weighed uh, 50, I can't remember if it was 54 ounces or 56 ounces. But uh, let's just say 56, we'll err on the side of caution. Comes with your stakes here. I'm going to be setting it up right back here behind me, so let's just do it. Move all my junk out of the way so you guys can see. And I'll need my trekking pole. This would be the rain fly, and this would be the tent. Let's set it up this way. Set to stake out the four corners. Feels like I'm probably going to have to go back around and readjust, make it a little tighter here and there. Dang it. Hit the rock. Okay.
know you can't see me back here, but it's just a simple guideline. I'll show you when I'm set up. Got pull outs on the side. There you go. Now, let's figure out this tarp, dude. Because uh, I don't want to get rained on. easy it's got a uh, little clips that you just hook on to the tabs down here supposed to go in that state. that back. Let's pull this line lock tight again. Man. There we go. That was super simple, guys. Pretty intuitive and uh, pretty super simple. Ugh. Let me uh, take you in there and show you what it looks like. You got you a good size vestibule. Looks like I gotta straighten it out a little bit. Oh. Pull that corner back. Okay. Yeah. Plenty of room in here. I 
got you a nice size vestibule. Yeah, I like it. Let's just hope it works. Alrighty, now let's uh, put all the gear in and we'll go from there. So as you can see here, with all of your gear, it's really more of a one person. But you could always put your gear in your vestibule and you could sleep two people. But yeah, plenty of room for one person and all your gears. You can smear out all you want. So, good size vestibule, plenty of room. Let's have a good look all the way around. The tarp has a little more sag in it than I would like, but. I don't know. Maybe you could tie a knot like there or something, but that right there is how it's actually supposed to be hooked through there. But I like it setting a little lower. Hook on that. Less of a chance of wind or rain or anything. I'm going to play with it see if I can make it look any better but for first time setting it up and uh, for the first time messing with this tent so far I like it it's got plenty of room so far yeah the River Country products Trekker 2V now I said, I'm going to play with it some, see if I can get it a little bit uh, prettier, get some of that droop out of it. I'm losing daylight, so I'm going to have to hurry anything I do. Uh, really pretty here. I made it to uh, Fane Creek. Uh, mile marker 30.2 on the Ozark Highland Trail. tent did great last night uh, we got a lot of rain I'm not for sure how much it just seemed like it rained all night it might have been just a, a slow drizzle but it rained pretty much all night um, tent stayed dry I can't find where anything leaked uh, I do have some uh, some water in here from where I went outside and, and came back in but I can't find anything where the uh, where the tent itself leaked um, but yeah, so uh, River Country Products, uh, Trekker 2V, did great for the first night. Um, it was easy to set up. This thing is huge, huge for one person. It would be kind of tight for two, but I mean, it's like a palace for one person. Oh, So one night of field use, I give it a thumbs up. And it's rained. But uh, I'm going to make me some coffee. i got to do some stretching and slowly getting around. Um, I don't know how long I'm going to sit here. But it sounds like it's starting to rain again on the tarp. And, or on the tent. And I don't, I don't want to walk in the rain right now. It's too dark and cold. Ugh. Anyway, tent did great so far. Highly impressed. Tons of room. Well, here I am in the uh, River Country Products Trekker 2V, being really lazy because it's raining and it's cold and I don't want to break camp, but I need to because I've still got like five miles to go. <laughs> but you can see uh, 
It is raining. The tent tarp rain fly is working just as it should. This thing is huge for one person. It's great. Uh, two people. Like I said, I don't think you'd be able to spread out and live as wild and free as I have if you had two people. You could still spread out, but you'd have to be a little bit more conscious about where you put stuff. Yeah, I'm thoroughly impressed and pleased with the uh, Trekker 2V. Um, if I had one complaint, actually I've got two complaints. Uh, first one is I don't like how I can't get the ridge line taunt. I, I tried and it just sags. I don't know. I, I think it would just look better. That's just a uh, aesthetic sort of thing. Aesthetically, it needs to have a taunter ridge line. Now, I haven't had any faults with it. Nothing's happened because of it, but I just think it would look better. And uh, the uh, second complaint is the weight. It's three pounds. Like I said, I believe my kitchen scale said it weighed 56 ounces, 56 or 54. Um, I would like to see it figure out a way to drop 20 ounces. Now that was including stakes and guidelines too. So that was the whole kit and caboodle, including the stuff sack. Stuff sack, stakes, guidelines, everything but the tracking poles was uh, 56 ounces. So if they could cut it down to 36 ounces, figure out a way to lose 20 ounces, that would be amazing. Uh, but anyway, I'm just sitting here being lazy and thought I'd talk to you for a minute.